Hi, Shauna here. My dad's here as well, and we've got some frog tape, and we're going to use it to try and get some neat edges around these cupboard doors. So here we go. Right, so I've got the frog tape. I uh, bought it from Screwfix. I've got the green frog tape. And this is to be used uh, on paint that is three days old or longer. There are different colours, for example, yellow for newly fresh paint, so we're using green tape. Okay, out of the pack. One thing I know about this stuff, don't let it stick together like that, because if you do, it's ruined and it is quite expensive, but I'm hoping it works. So we've got the edge here, you can see the white paint at the side. Just need to put it on the covered door at the edge there. It doesn't have to be, there we go, 100% accurate. The only thing I would say with this is that you need to keep it on the wall to stop it sticking together, backing up on itself, and sometimes that reel in the end gets in the way as so you've just seen it pull off on its own. So just get a, a straight line, let the weighted roll hang down, and that'll give you a, a better line as well. As you're going along, just use your fingers to press in. When you're nearing the bottom, as I am now, getting close to that skirting, just pull it down below the skirting, so you know you've got plenty. They say in the instructions also to use like a plastic card, a debit card, club card, anything you want really. And just to go down it, I guess that's just to make sure really that it's stuck to the surface. Never used this before. So we'll see how we go. Just to reduce the paint I'm using, two types of brushes, essence, there's like your normal brush you paint the door with, and then there's a, a range of cutting in brushes. You get, the difference with these cutting in brushes, and it helps you get a straight line around anything, detailed edges. If you look at it, it's pointy, and it's quite thin. Screw fix, so absolutely brilliant job. Right, I've got the magnolia paint. And I've got to say, basic paint from Screw Fix, 10 litres, 9.99, and it is as good as a rest and covers brilliantly. It's as good as your 20, 30 pound paint. It literally is. There's a nice deep magnolia as well. Right, so I've got some on my paint brush and I'm literally just going to go over it like that. The thing with magnolia, when it starts to dry and it's applied, it looks like you put nothing on. I'm not worrying too much how much you get over the tape, it's just to prevent it leaking through. Conventional masking tape, it definitely leak through. If you're doing it by hand, just by eye, to try and get a real nice finish, it's going to take absolutely ages. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over that again from the top. Doing, just make sure your brush doesn't drag, it sort of glides so you've got enough paint on there. At the moment, if you look at the, where it's drying, like most emulsion paint, it looks like there's nothing on there. It's different. I think what we'll do, we've got some frog tape on this side, and what we'll do, there's another covered edge here, we'll try and do that by hand. 
So, and then we could compare the differences between the frog tape and doing it by hand with a cutting brush. Now, I've got a fairly steady hand. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but keep the covering white up. You notice as I'm using this brush, because it's pointy at the end, and got the bristles going everywhere. I won't do all the frames here, because personally, I don't think we're going to get the same neat professional results using the frog tape. I'm just going to go over that frog tape last area again. And remove it once. And it's done. Now the brushes I'm using, the Cutting-in brushes are Hamilton. Gotta say, they're good quality. They're synthetic. Um, there's different types for different paints, like water-based, which is emulsion, and then gloss and satin wood, which is more oil-based. You need different types of brushes because of the um, bristles in them design to function differently to grip the paint. So just make sure if you're using oil-based paints like gloss and cutting in, you just check the brushes for that. So. We'll do a fair comparison and I'll go down again with the brush or up, whichever is easiest. You see that white patch where it's the, I've used satin one on these cuts where it's still showing through. But as the, this paint dries, it will disappear. Gliding down, it's got enough paint to glide down with this. Brushing out. Good thing about paint brushes, they're for left or right handers, and I'm a left hander. <laughs> Really, another coat on that there that the frog tape is, and hopefully need another cut of tape because there's a fair bit of satin wood on that there. So that will be interesting. I can see the line there now isn't brilliant that I've done by hand, and I wouldn't be happy with that. So if I now remove the frog tape, I've left a bit at the top, you'll see there. That's always a good idea. Leave an, an inch or a couple of inches at the top here to pull it down. And notice that I'm pulling the corner against the wall towards me. Because I want to pull it away. And I don't want to get it anywhere. Now, as that's coming off, I've got to say, no credit to the manufacturer, frog tape. That, so far, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I would say, bearing in mind I've put two or three coats on that, one after the other, which, for the purpose of the video, just to try and cut the white paint up, but normally you probably leave it five minutes between each coat. I would say that is a neat finish. And if you look at the other one here, the one I've done by hand, it doesn't matter how steady your hand is, you're never going to achieve that. So I would say, what about you, Shauna? Yeah, that's brilliant. Let's hope other people can get neat edges. Sorry? Let's hope other people can get neat edges. I'd say. 10 out of 10 yeah. for that, ease of use, okay, 7 quid a roll, 
But it's worth the money. And it's quicker as well. Although it takes a little time to put the tape on. If you can see how long Dad was actually taking to do that by hand because he's not got anything to go against. Yeah. There you go. So that was quite a good video.